Hello, Jan here. Many Native Americans get offended when they get confused for a Mexican, but are Mexicans also Native American? After all, they do live in the Americas and many are native to America. Today, there's about 500,000 speakers of a Native American language in the US, of which almost half of them are Navajo speakers. Mexico, on the other hand, has 8 million speakers of a native language but to be considered indigenous in Mexico, you must maintain a strong community link, be fluent in your language, and you must look native. Even then, you will never have a birth certificate that recognizes you as native. Kind of harsh, right? So there are natives in Mexico, but what about everyone else? First of all, it's important to establish that Mexican isn't an ethnicity in the sense Mexico is a country just like the United States. That means it has people of different backgrounds, although the government likes to assimilate everyone. For example, Diego Rivera had Jewish ancestry. Frida Kahlo only had native ancestry from part of her mother's side. Carlos Slim, the richest man in Mexico and one of the richest in the world, is of Lebanese descent. About 10% of Mexico's population is white, recent immigrants from Europe or descendants of colonizers. Another social group are called mestizos in Mexico. They're the mainstream, the ones most people in the US will call Mexican. These are people who are part native and part European. Interestingly enough, it often varies what part of Mexico one is from. A mestizo in southern or central Mexico may be overwhelmingly Native American, but a mestizo from northern Mexico may have much less. This is even more interesting when you consider that Native Americans in the southwestern U.S. have made more contact with the more European Northerners and may perceive the rest of Mexicans differently because of this. According to the National Geographic Genome Study, the average mestizo in Los Angeles is over 34% native. Further research shows that it is much higher in certain states of Mexico. This chart highlights the native ancestry in the mestizo population here. Curiously enough, the minimum blood quantum to be Native American in the U.S. is usually about one quarter native, although it varies by tribe. Using the 25% rule, 80% of Mexicans should be considered Native American if we were to keep the same standards as the U.S. does. So why don't we keep the same standards? It could be a policy of divide and conquer. For one, if Mexicans were recognized for their heritage, the Native American population would rise much higher in the U.S. and that would make assimilation efforts much more difficult. And who knows what could happen if Mexican natives worked together with U.S. natives. Also, Mexican native governments don't have a history of making treaties with the U.S. government, which means they don't qualify as natives on paper. Of course, you can thank the Mexican government for dismantling almost all forms of autonomy and election of native governments, but that's a story for later.